What do you think about people dragging up his old tweets from when he was 14 and 15 years old and him having to apologize? Molly, Stephen A., I've been hot about this since Sunday morning and I saw this all come up, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to try I'm going to try not to get mad, okay? Because I, I just don't want to get mad, but I'm going to be real with you. I support you getting mad on this one. This but. makes me livid, okay? This reveals to me the ugliest of human characteristics. I don't know what it is that motivates, that drives one of these so-called reporters. And I'm going to call them so-called reporters in this instance to at the moment of somebody's highest achievement go search for their lowest moments. And among that, by the way, when they were teenagers, breaking news, teenagers, 14 and 15-year-olds say stupid things. We have got to stop this absurdity that it is somehow newsworthy or revealing about who they are as adults based upon what they said when they were 14. Stephen A., I know at the time Josh Allen reached out to you. We've had this with Josh Allen, Dante DiVincenzo. We've had this with multiple athletes, Josh Hader. And I am not excusing a single thing they said when they were teenagers. But that's the point. Teenagers say inexcusably stupid things. It's not newsworthy. And I want to say this. I think it's really, really something that these are, I don't know if they are cultivated, I don't know when they do their research, but they wait. They wait till you, you win the Heisman Trophy. They wait till you pitch a no-hitter. They wait till you're about to be drafted, until you win a national championship, and they pounce. And that is the ugliest thing I can imagine in a human being. I will tell you, I 1,000% agree with you. 1,000%. I don't disagree with a single syllable you uttered. And I will go a step further by saying it's inhumane. It really is what 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 folks try to do to these kids. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's interesting when you watch these guys and, and you look at the, what what Colin Murray Colin Murray has been through and what he's overcome. This was a defining moment for him, DiVincenzo, when he was at Villanova, won a national championship, and here folks come out with this. And Will is absolutely right to sit up there and to bring up texts or tweets or whatever from six, seven years ago when they were 14, 15, 16 years old. Kids do stupid things. They say stupid things. And what we have is I think that the one thing about this that really should resonate with us all is that I think it gives us indications about how much we've regressed as a society, and it forces us to ask why that is. You have folks out here now willing to do anything that they can to just get hits to their blog, to just get, you know, a headline, that somebody will come and read their articles or do whatever it is that they can do to bring attention to themselves. And I think it's cruel to sit up there and to do that to a kid over something that happened. I don't give a damn what anybody said six, seven years ago when you were a teenager. Now, I care what you said five, six years ago if you if you in your 40s or whatever. But even then, you could sit up there and say, look, I learned. I made a mistake. I learned the error of my ways. I'm moving forward. But to, to put a kid in a position or a young adult in a position where he has to explain himself about what he was thinking and where his mindset was when he was 14, 15 years of age... You have no soul. And right. right now, that's what that's the word, that's the kind of world that we're living in. You have people who want others to suffer because they feel like if they have company, their life would be better. I have Misery loves company per se. I have a genuine question, a genuine sure. curiosity. Sure. And it's gonna be a personal one, and it's also gonna be a personal sure. statement about these so-called reporters. Sure. I'm I'm curious, is the research done? on the nights and the weeks and the months leading up to somebody's anticipated big moment? Sometimes. Were there so-called reporters digging into Kyler Murray leading up to the moment so that they'd have it ready to spring? Because if that's the case, what you are is what you just described, a soulless mercenary who's for sale for clicks. Mm -hmm. But is it possible that you just saw somebody on the night of their life and said, hmm, wonder what's in their Twitter feed? Because if that's who you oh. are, if you see that, you have something ugly to look at inside yourself. Well, both, let's see. Well, here's what I would say to you. By here's, the way, really quick, the statement personal. Right. Fair is fair. Right. If we want to play this game, then every reporter, every person who thinks this is virtuous and moral and righteous, we should do the same to them. Let's go back. Let's I talk don't have to a your folks. With that. I have Let's no talk problem. to everybody you talk to when you're no, 14. I have no problem with that whatsoever. I applaud that suggestion. And I would tell you this. It's both in terms of when you do your research, whether it's weeks before or the night of. It's not about the research. It's about what you find and what you feel compelled to disseminate. What I'm trying to say to you is that there are many, many occasions. One of the reasons I can be hardcore with players about their performance is I know I'm not trying to get personal. I know you don't have to worry about me telling your personal business. Like I'm not doing that to you. I'm going to talk about your game. 
I'm going to talk about your performance. I'm going to do that. But your privacy, I'm not trying to invade that. I tell cats all the time, don't end up in the police blotters because that's public. You understand what I'm saying? Outside of that, I'm not trying to get into your private business. But especially when it comes to a young man who was a kid, if I do my research on you, okay, I might go back and look at what tweets you may have put out there. My point to you, Will, is that I could see that Kyler Murray might have put that tweet out when he was 14 or 15 years of age. I'm not talking about that. Hell no. I'm not, I'm not doing that. No I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to look, look at that and go like this. Let me let the public know that when this kid was 14 or 15 years old, he said this. And if an, I, I, I wouldn't do an that. Sign that I would never do that. Reject it. No, that's right. I'm not doing that's, that story. That's, that's right. But in fairness, in fairness, I can reject it. You probably can reject it. There are instances and situations, as wrong as it is, where you got a guy, he's no. broke, the editor's getting your face like, you gonna put that out. No, you can't be for sale like that. Just, you got to stand for I'm something. Saying, listen, let me say, we should I agree. Like this. I debated doing hard. this on my radio show. It's hard we for debated other people. Not about me, this. but it's hard. Listen, let me tell, I debated talking about this because do you want to disseminate? Do you want to help spread this awfulness? But here's the thing: you can't sit quietly because this stuff is proliferating. They're doing it more and more and more to people yeah, no, that achieve. And you got to put it on front street. You got to call it out. In the end, we should tie it up like this. Well, go ahead. I am a Longhorn. I like Sam Ellinger. I bleed burn orange. Congratulations, Kyler Murray. Mm -hmm. You were one hell of a quarterback, and when your team needed to make mm -hmm. a play, you did it. You when, deserve the Heisman when, Trophy. Well, when you brought it up this morning, you saw I told you. I know. Let's talk about it. Has to be talked about. It's the about. right thing to do. It's wrong, what, it's wrong what was done to him. It was wrong what was done to DiVincenzo as well.